Housing and Urban, Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson is encouraging employees to take a niceness pledge. He's calling on his staff to be nice for a week. And I might suggest many of us are trying to be and do just that after his surprise remarks comparing slaves to immigrants yesterday and addressing his staff at HUD. Um, take a listen. There were other immigrants who came here in the bottom of slave ships, worked even longer, even harder for less. But they too had a dream that one day their sons, daughters, grandsons, granddaughters, great grandsons, great granddaughters might pursue prosperity. Hmm. Carson has taken a lot of heat for that comment. So on Facebook, the HUD secretary attempts to walk back some of his remarks. He writes, I'm proud that our ancestors overcame the evil and repression that we know as slavery. The slave narrative and immigrant narrative are two entirely different experiences. Dr. Greg Carr is an associate professor and chair of Afro-American studies at Howard University here in Washington. Your reaction when you heard this, did, did you hear it on the air when he said it? Well, I did, I saw the tape yeah. and uh, I read the comments later on the Armstrong Williams show, I heard that and then I read the comments. Right. It's not surprising at all. Why? I mean, you go back 19 years. Ben Carson is the one who said at a commencement speech at Andrews University that he thinks Joseph built the pyramids to store grain. As somebody who's been in them a dozen times, I can assure him that's not the case. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not unusual. I mean, it's not unusual. And you know, our ancestors who were taken in the largest forced migration in human history, an ongoing crime against humanity, their first thought was, I'm trying to go home. I'm trying to survive. It's utterly absurd on his face. He can say they're two different experiences, but then he also says that there's some immigrants come against their will. Yeah, I don't think that the, uh, the folks who came from West Africa, from Southern Africa, from Central Africa were dreaming of becoming someone who lost their history, lost their culture. And, and Dr. Carson, I'm a noted neurosurgeon. He also sure. talks about how, how they were coming here and, and they had to work for lower wages. They worked for nothing. <laughs> you know, they were bought and sold. They Bruce, worked for free. Bruce, not okay. only did they work for free, their wealth is what created the American nation state. On the eve of the Civil War, just literally the bodies of black people were worth more than all the money in the banks and all the real property in the country. Just our bodies, the four million blacks in 1860. It's utterly absurd. Well, what did your students think when, when, when they heard this? I'm, well, sure, I'm sure you talked about it. What well, you say? know, I work at a HBCU, brother, yeah. at Howard University. So not only were they enraged, they had the, the ability to articulate their rage in ways that connected to the history. You know, we'd invite Dr. Carson to come up and sit in on some of these classes maybe, and I think even the students could give him an education on the history of our people. You think he'd come? You know, if he were smart, he would. He'd be a good step. After all, he's in, in HUD, and a lot of our students are connected to people who live in these communities. He's calling himself trying to help. So why don't he come check us out? Are, are you surprised after all these years, or would you be surprised if some people aren't trying to conflate the stories? You know, slaves, immigrants, you know. It's, it's a painful past. It's a yes. painful history. I have friends, mostly white, that would just as soon not talk about this. I even have some black friends. Let's let bygones be bygones. Let's move on. Let's not hold people's feet to the fire. It was then. Sure. My family not responsible. You, you, your, your take on people who would just as soon leave it where it is. Well, this is the fragility of the American narrative. It, it, it sort of requires a sort of violence of forgetting. In other words, I mean, if you start your history with slavery, everything since then looks like progress. So to even dispossess these people of the memory of where they came from is in some ways the prerequisite for building the American dream. So actually, it doesn't surprise me that people don't want to remember. After all, we'd have to then question the idea of America itself. And then we, we, we've got from the media, from Hollywood and everywhere, we are going back, thanks to Oprah and a lot of others, and we've been doing it for years, and, and we are retelling these stories. Uh, I, I, for one, and a lot of people I know have, have you know, re researched the family history. I, yes. my, my family, as far as back as I can go, a plantation, the Buckner Plantation in Pembroke, Kentucky, which is outside of Hopkinsville, Kentucky. My, my great-great-grandparents were slaves. Bruce, you know, Kentucky's very interesting, because during the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln said, I want God on my side, but I must have Kentucky. He didn't even free the enslaved Africans in Kentucky in the Emancipation Proclamation Absolutely because they right. weren't in open rebellion. Right. So as we know, and as you know from your personal experience, it's a very personal history. Brother. Absolutely, and it's called a border state. No okay? question. And, and, and so Kentucky to this day is still divided, even among African Americans. You know, they, a lot of African Americans aren't even sure that Kentucky is in the South. I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. It, it, well, Maryland's in the South, technically. The Mason-Dixon line separates Delaware and Pennsylvania, brother. Yeah. We're sitting in the South right now, technically. And we're celebrating Harriet Tubman this weekend, Indeed. you know, and, and the Underground um, uh, Railroad. Sure, that's right. Okay, you got to come back. Man, it's appreciate a pleasure. This. Thank you, brother. All right, thank yes. you. All right.